All right, guys, we're trying something different today. We're theoretically running two crews today. Me and Jesse got a lot of stuff to do. Uh, I've gotten a few calls all of a sudden, so I got to give some bids. We got to go mow some properties. I got to pick up my Duramax. Got to go by the bank. And so Jesse's, we're going to use Jesse's truck today because I don't have my other one yet. So hopefully it'll be done today. We can pick it up and uh we might we might try to do this about one to two days a week run two crews and uh see if we can't get more done and uh matt and albero or they just left off mowing that sun is bright yes. Jesus. future so bright you gotta wear shades first impression of running two crews <laughs> i'm not that organized i need to be more organized if i want to run two crews <laughs> All my stuff's in my other truck. I took it out. Yeah, I'm still missing stuff. <laughs> I need it. Yeah, I need to be more on the ball if we're gonna run two crews. <laughs> we already went back to my house once because I forgot something and I actually need to go back again, but I just told Jesse, forget about it. <laughs> <laughs> we got stuff to do, we gotta go. Well guys, for the first time, I actually feel like a business owner today. I'm running around, I'm putting in bids, I'm looking at jobs, and uh, you know, it feels kind of good to be honest with you. Uh, but right now, me and Jesse, we got a few things we got to mow. This will be the second one of the day. I didn't film the first one. Well, we got to mow this one. And you ready to knock her out? Let's get her done. Let's get her done. guys I don't think it turned out too bad looks pretty good it's really hard to stripe this Bermuda uh, I don't mow a whole lot of I can't even say the word Bermuda but uh, you know you can see them a little bit but it's not not great but there's just not a whole lot you can do about it you know, nice clean cut, does the job every time. All right guys, so Jesse's backpack is kind of messing up. He bought a new carb for it a while back, just to have as a spare. So we're just gonna go ahead and switch it out real quick. I'm gonna kind of show you guys uh, how I did my last one. There's a bolt there, there's one there he's taking off. There's one down there somewhere, and there's one right there somewhere. See, I was worried about taking that part off right there. I thought it would just spring off and get kind of un unwound, but mine didn't. And that's on the 550, so I'm assuming this one doesn't either. That's what it looks like with that off of there. And then your cord is just wound up in there. You gotta push it through there. See, 
now we got access. Okay, now this side piece has to come off. It's just two bolts, one down there and one up there. You might tell them the problem we're having with it. Yeah, the problem we're having, guys, is this here isn't isn't clicking. It's not it's not catching in there to where it's able to choke. This knob here is just moving freely. So if anybody else has had that problem and can fix it, show us how to fix it, then we'll just we'll save this carb. And because uh, I I don't think the actual carb is bad because it was running fine. It's just not choking right now and. It's kind of hard to start without a choke because it's an older machine. Okay, now there's two bolts right there. See, this is the piece here that I didn't put on last time. I forgot to put on. And that's why I couldn't get mine to start. But there's a bolt there and a bolt right there. Or I should say screw. But I call them bolts because in the aircraft industry, they call, I mean, even though it's a screw, they, most of the time they call them bolts. So basically you got three hoses, I believe, to unhook. And the throttle. And the throttle cable. It, it's pretty it's pretty long. I'll show you what oh, I did. Because okay. I just I tipped it up. I got you. I got it. There, there you go. go. So we already we got the old one off now. Would that take about two or three minutes? Yeah, not long at all. Yeah, the hardest part is just kind of getting these hoses hooked back up, and that's not really that hard. It's just when you got fat fingers like me and Jesse do, right. <laughs> it's hard to get them back in there. So just like that, guys, we got the carb changed. I think we've got a whole five minutes into this project. Not bad. Now we just got to put her back together. All right, so we figured it out. We figured it out while we're turning this knob and it's not catching right here You can see with the throttle open all the way It doesn't catch I'm gonna try to show this to you guys See how it's catching right there Right there it's catching Okay but when you have the throttle all the way open like that, it doesn't catch. So that's what we were doing wrong. I don't know about Jesse, but I feel pretty stupid right now. Yes. <laughs> you do too? Yeah. Uh, but this is how you learn. This is how you learn. You start messing with stuff and you try to figure it out. I'm just glad we figured it out. Yeah. I'd have been more, uh, I'd have felt more stupid when uh, all you guys left comments and said, well, you just got to <laughs> unlock the throttle, goofball. <laughs> Start her up. Now, it did not start up on the first pool. I just wasn't recording, so I had him redo it. <laughs> but it does start, start up, and it's running, running good. Back in business. But we actually do have a carb, an extra carb now, because we figured out that that was not bad. <laughs> because it just, yeah, you know. Some of the best food you can have is these little hole in the wall places. Burgers are excellent, fries are excellent. It's just good food. Doesn't do very well for the weight loss challenge though. <laughs> now we are on our way to a new property. Uh, yesterday this lady called me and needed a bid, so uh, she's not going to be home today, supposed to not be home today. So I went ahead and gave the bid over the phone. I don't like doing that just because you never know what you're going to run into. But I did it because I didn't want to come out here, give a bid, and then, you know, wait a day and then have to drive back out here and give another bid er, to mow it. So I gave her a bid, $45. I kind of know the neighborhood a little bit. The houses, the properties aren't very big. So I gave her a bid of $45. So we're going to see if that's going to work out for me or not. I got a feeling we might be in for a little surprise. Might be a, might be taller than what she kind of estimated it to be, but we'll see when we get there.
Forty-five dollars too uh, too cheap for this yard. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. This is why I don't give bids over the phone. But it's a job. I guess I can't complain too much. Yeah, you can see, guys, it's pretty thick. Honestly, I don't think this would be that bad of a job. We don't have the right equipment for it, though. We have the walker, and uh, it's just not made for stuff like this. We had the turf tracer. And I think we'd be all right. I think we can get through it a lot easier, just double, triple cut, and be out of here. But uh, the walker, the bottom of it just keeps getting clogged up, and uh, it's making a mess. It's actually not looking too bad. It's just taking, uh, I got to go really slow. So, but we're going to continue, continue on. It's going to take a little bit longer than we thought, but at the end of the day, we're going to get paid. What happens? is you're just sucking up way too much grass all at one time and it clogs right here so we're making a pile right here we'll come back with the trash bag and get it all picked up but as soon as it clogs hmm? you can tell nothing come out the yeah yeah you can tell really really quick when it clogs i can hear it i can hear the different sound uh but uh you know like I said, we don't have the right equipment for this job, but we're gonna get it done regardless. It is what it is. I think it turned out pretty well. What do you think, Jesse? How'd we do? Huh? How'd we do? I think we did all right. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know much about the yard, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think the front yard came out pretty well. Yeah, you can do it. Mucho better. Took us a little longer than expected, but we got it done in a pretty timely manner. I'm, I'm gonna guess around 45 minutes. Somewhere around there, 45 minutes to an hour. But now I have a weekly customer. So I'm gonna continue to mow this yard and uh, picked up another customer. Like I said, guys, that yard there, yeah, normally if I'm cutting that every week when it's that bad, I wouldn't, uh, you know, $45 is too cheap. But, uh, you know, we made a little bit of money on that yard. You know, it's not too bad. But like I said, I have a weekly customer now. So now it's gonna be $35 a week and probably only gonna take us 20 minutes.